Hey everyone, WinU Pro Beta 6 is now available. I just want to go over how to set up a D-pad so it has eight directions and something that might help you guys with Xbox 360 controller emulation. So let's do that first real quick. We're going to open up the Reg Edit. And we're going to look into two places. One is underneath Current User. And then System. Current control setting, control, media properties, private properties, joystick, OEM, and then this one right here. You simply need to search these until you find one that says VJoy device where under OEM name. And you just want to double click that, open it, and change it to Xbox 360 for Windows parentheses controller. And what this does is it makes programs or games rather recognize your controller as an Xbox 360 controller. Won't work on all games such as Grand Theft Auto 4, but it will work on other games such as Skyrim and Portal 2. Both games recognize the Pro Controller straight from the VJoy device and was able to use it without using any other Xbox 360 emulation software. Although Skyrim was a little bit more playable ready most of the buttons were mapped the way they needed to be but they did have some changes for instance like start and select you needed to be moved to the left and right triggers and the analog sticks needed to be completely inverted so that can be easily fixed inside WinU Pro. The other location for the other keys is pretty similar it's just under local machine then system then control setup one and you also have control setup too, so you need to do both of those. And then under control, and then you find media properties, private properties, joysticks, OEM, and the same DID and PID. And it actually won't have this key, I was just practicing some things, or fiddling around, see if I can get the buttons renamed. And again, just change the OEM key to Xbox 360 for Windows parentheses controller. Alright, so let's take a look at VJoy config. And I'm going to set up a new device. I already have device 1 set up, so let me go to another device, say device 7. Uh, in the past, you had to set up, if, you, if I wanted to use device 7, I would have to set up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 before 7 would get recognized. I've actually fixed the finding sequence in beta 6 so that you no longer have to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and select let's say these ones. Actually I'll take those. Right. And then for the D-pad I want continuous for the POV hat switch. That way I can get 8 directions. You can still use the 4 directions but it's not as nice as having 8. And you can have more than just one POV here. So say you can have you can have up to four, and for number of buttons I'm going to choose uh, 17, and then I'm going to make sure it's on configure. Just choose OK, and I now have my second Pro controller thanks to the Best Buy sale. Set one up as joystick seven, and the other as joystick one, just so that they both show up. And they are the tabs to select between the two. And by default, if there is a D-pad available, it will be automatically set up. As you can click on that, go to the assignments as normal, you can change the POV hats. And as you can see, you can have up to three over here. And we also have underneath mouse movement, there is now wheel up and wheel down along with the movement speed. You can also select joystick axis to be set to digital inputs as well as you can select the axis and you can also have these as POV hat switches. You can also now use them as shift assignments in case. I think that would be kind of a bad idea but you can do it. So let me load a configuration to our Xbox and load this one as Xbox B. And another thing that the 
input does for us um, the renaming the VJoy device to Xbox 360 controller. It allows us to use the software a little bit better. But first we need to configure. As you can see the right stick is stuck to up. So it's got to be one of these. Let's take a look. Is it this one? Yes it is. And as you can see we have eight directions on our POV hat device here. So that should be nice for platforming games for you guys. So to fix this you just need to calibrate it. Let's see axis. Exportations not set up. Neither is Y. Z is. The slider doesn't seem to be set up. Okay, that's fine. And then here we go with both sticks. We have all these buttons working. The only ones are the triggers. The triggers need to be set up to analog inputs instead of digital ones just for this little uh, X input test. So let me do that. Let me choose ZL as an axis and I'll set it up to, let's see, U positive. And we'll set this one up to be negative. I also need to recalibrate. I might be able to skip all these ones. All right, for slider, there we go finish and there we go when we choose one it goes to all the way to 255 which is max range okay and for the very popular Xbox 360 controller emulator you have X360 CE and these buttons actually need to be back to digital I couldn't get them working properly while they're still set to an axis. So the buttons I used was 15 and 13. I had trouble with other buttons like 12, 11, 10, and 14, but these two worked for me. So you might want to try a couple different buttons. As you can. And the way that they wouldn't work when they didn't was um, they would just be, they would be registered as staying on like that. But if they have it like this, then you know they are working properly. And as you can see, everything seems to be in its place. All directions are here, and all that stuff. So the renaming to Xbox 360 controller in the registry editor will help with using this program, and it makes it a lot easier. So I hope that helps you guys. I hope you enjoy the new features. Uh, before I go, one more thing I want to say is just that the, the POVs, or the, the joystick buttons now have turbo and so do the POV hats and so hopefully those features help you guys uh, accomplish whatever you want to accomplish and that's it have fun